we're looking at this specialized position that I push so hard upon my students and I want you to become specialists in it also. This is the clamp position. It's essentially a form of ashigarami on the upper body. Um, let me be more precise with that, okay? Let's look at an ashigarami. Just uh, put your right leg up from the kneeling position. Okay, classic ashigarami. You got a bottom leg and a top leg, just like so, okay? The ashigarami enables me to control distance. When he pushes towards me, my left foot makes it difficult. When he goes to pull it away, my left knee makes it difficult. My second leg forms a connection, so you have a bottom knee and a top knee, which enables you to corkscrew your opponent and move them around, okay? Contrast that with the clamp, which is just the same situation, bottom knee, top knee. They govern distance. He goes to pull away, top knee makes it difficult. He goes to push in, bottom knee makes it difficult. Instead of a leg between your legs, it's an arm and a shoulder, okay? Instead of a hip between your legs, it's a head. But the mechanical principles are identical. It forms a tight connection, which enables you to partially control your opponent's movement forwards and backwards, okay? That's the similarity, the mechanical similarity between the two. So this is essentially an ashigarami of the upper body. But instead of going for heel hooks, you're going to be going for upper body submissions. The ones we favor are typically variations of Judicatami and variations of the triangle. Now, from a clamp position, we've seen that as our opponent goes to posture up, we want to take our foot and hook it over the top of our training partner's uh, shoulder so we can pressure down. We want our foot inside his bicep so that he can't post inside and start causing problems. He posts inside, we always want the inside position. That forces his hand down towards the mat. Now, something we will often make use of here is the idea of rolling an opponent through. Make a strong resistant body. From here, I'm gonna take my elbow, I'm gonna bring it up, I'm gonna start posturing over my opponent. When I posture, I can use my bottom leg to throw my hips and face down towards the floor. As we complete this, watch my knee it turns through and takes the training partner all the way over. As he goes into the roll, we catch, we find ourselves now in the perfect position to lock up a tight triangle from the mounted position. As he tries to defend himself, he goes right into the roll and strangle. So once again, we start off in front of our training partner, working in the usual fashion. I get inside position, and as a result, we're able to go over the top and take our opponent through into the clamp position. As I see him trying to posture up, our foot goes, the heel goes right inside our training partner's knee. The more he goes to posture, posture, I want to use my foot to take his hand off the mat. That brings the head down. As the head comes down, I want my head to come up. So I come up here to my elbow. Now we start driving, rotating and pointing our knees at the floor. As I put my hands down, we rotate and kick through into a superb attacking position. As we pitch forward, we lock the figure of four and strangle. This is a really practical way for us to use the clamp position to roll an opponent through and get into a really strong triangle attack from the mounted position.